we are presenting to you our top 5 African greatest defensive midfielders of all time. At number 5 is Seydou Keita for Mali. Seydou Keita was the best player of the FIFA World Youth Championship held in Nigeria in 1999. He started his youth career with sportive center Salif Keita in Mali and Marseille in France. He played for Lorient and won the French Cup and also won the UEFA Intertoto Cup in 2005 during his time at Lens. It was at Sevilla that he was sometimes played at the defensive midfield position. With Sevilla, he won the Spanish Super Cup and came runner-up in the UEFA Super Cup. He then spent four illustrious years at Barcelona as their defensive midfielder and won 14 titles including two UEFA Champions League. He played for a couple of other clubs including Roma after his Barcelona years. He made a good 102 appearances for the Eagles of Mali and featured in seven African Cup of Nations tournaments. Seydou Keita was not your typical robust and aggressive defensive midfielder, but was calm, deft on the ball, and very intelligent. He could anticipate passes very well and was a very good possessor of the ball. At number 4, we have another member of the Côte d'Ivoire Golden Generation, Didier Zokura. This former African football stalwart was graceful on the ball and very calm. He was not the usual robust and hard tackling defensive midfielder. He had good anticipation and played the role with intelligence. He was a very good passer of the ball and loved to venture forward. He started his career in Europe with Belgian club Genk. He won the Belgian league in the 2001-2002 season. From 2004 to 2006, he played for Saint Etienne in the French league. Zokora moved on to Tottenham Hotspur, where he helped them win the league cup. Sevilla in Spain came calling and he won the Copa del Rey during his two year spell with the club. He played also for Trabzonspor in Turkey and went on to play for clubs in India and Indonesia. At the international level, Zokora was a legend for his country. He is the nation's most capped player with 123 appearances. He helped Cote d'Ivoire to qualify for her first ever FIFA World Cup in 2006 and repeated the feat again by qualifying for the 2010 edition in South Africa. Despite being a part of a very talented Cote d'Ivoire team throughout his career, his best was a runner-up position at the African Cup of Nations tournament in 2012. Before Europe, he started his career with academic Mimosifcom and then finally with Asset Mimosa where he won the Cup Super Cup in 1999. Didier Zokora was very enterprising and an important ingredient in the attacking flow of any team. At number 3, we have a player who devoted himself well to the defensive midfield position, Mahamadou Diara. He was a typical defensive midfielder with focus on retention and keeping more to his designated area. Mahamadou Diara was a good example of a classic number 6. He was strong and fearless in the game. He started his career with sportive center Salif Keita in Mali. He joined OFI Create Football Club in Greece at the age of 17. The youngster was a prodigy and immediately signed by that club, Vitesse Arnhem. The young Diara was compared to another legend of the game, Ruth Gullit. He moved to Olympic Lyon, where together with Michael Asien, they formed a rock that dominated the French League. He won the league four times consecutively and the French Super Cup on four occasions. Real Madrid came knocking and there is an interesting story that cements his reputation as one of the greatest defensive midfielders of all time. Fabio Capello, the then coach of Real Madrid, asked the club president to sign three players for him. When asked about the players, Capello responded, Diara, Diara, Diara. Yes, when you are excellent, your name will certainly be mentioned thrice. He did not disappoint at Real Madrid as he played regularly for the club, barring any injuries. He won two Spanish league titles, one Spanish Super Cup and a Copa del Rey. He went back to France to play for Monaco and then he later went on to play for Fulham in England. His last club stint was with Brentford. He had 71 appearances for the national team of Mali. He played in the 1999 FIFA World Youth Championship where Mali picked up the bronze medal position. Mahamadou Diara was purely world class at the defensive midfield position and a true gentleman of the round leather game. The second slot goes to Nigeria's darling boy, Sandy Olise. He started his career with Julius Berger in Nigeria. He moved to RFC Liège in Belgium and then later to Regina in Italy. 
he played for FC Cologne in Germany from 1995 to 1997 and then moved on to Ajax. With Ajax, he won a league title and also the KNVB Cup twice. He moved on to Borussia Dortmund where he won the league and came runner-up in the UEFA Cup final in the 2001-2002 season. He went on to play briefly with Juventus. He played for Bochum and ended his club career with Genk. At the national level, he was capped 54 times and won the African Cup of Nations in 1994. He was also an integral member of the Nigerian Football Olympic team that won gold in the Atlanta 1996 games. He was a good passer of the ball and he retained ball very well so as to control the pace of his team. He was very powerful with his shots and cited as one of the early examples of players who assumed a creative role to the defensive midfield position in the history of football. Before we look at our number one, here are some honorable mentions. Jeremy Njitab, Adolf Ama, Mark Vivian Fu, John Ubi Mikel, and Papa Buba Diop. Number one is a freak of nature, Michaelisian, popularly known as the bison. Research on the bison and you will know that Asian was a beast and a force on the pitch. He had a domineering presence on the pitch and the physique to bully opponents. He's also another intelligent player and a good anticipator of the ball. One of his best attributes is his movement without the ball. In fact, he's a dream of every coach as he is technical and follows details. Michael Asian started his career with Liberty Professionals in Ghana. He featured for the Black Stylers of Ghana at the FIFA Under-17 World Championship in New Zealand. Sir Alex Ferguson wanted him at Manchester United, but issues with work permit did not make it possible. He played in Bastia and then moved on to Olympic Lyon. He won two league titles with the club and two French Super Cups. He was voted the best player in the French League in the 2004-2005 season. He won nine titles, including two Premier League titles and the UEFA Championship League title with the Blues. He was Chelsea's best player of the year in the 2006-2007 season. From Chelsea, he went to Real Madrid and then to AC Milan. He spent the remainder of his career playing for Panathinaikos, Persib Bandung and Sabel. Michael Asian has played 59 matches for the senior national team of Ghana and has featured at the under-20 level for Ghana where he finished runner-up at the World Youth Championship in 2001. He has appeared four times in the Cavs Team of the Year. He won the BBC African Footballer of the Year in 2006. Michael Asian had it all as a defensive midfielder. 